Pete Rosamondo, 13th head coach in Central Connecticut State history. And um, obviously a very successful run for you at New Haven, 42-13 and 13, over five years there. It must have been a tough decision to, to leave them, but what ultimate, ultimately led you to deciding to come here to Central Connecticut? Emotionally, very tough decision. Obviously, you get, a, you get uh, in, ingrained in a community and work with a lot of great people, and which I did, and, and uh, have a lot of success. It's emotionally a really tough decision, but when you take emotion out of it and you look at exactly what it is from a football program perspective, um, no, I think the decision was fairly easy. Now you have a next year. You have a lot of skill position players returning. You have your quarterback coming back, your top wide receiver coming back, and of course Rob Holloman, uh, who led the FCS in all-purpose yards with just under 190 per game. Talk about what we can expect out of your offense next year. Well, obviously with that talent, you're going to expect guys that are going to score a lot of points, which they did in the past, and I think they'll continue to do so. Um, but I think the most significant change you'll see is on defense. We're going to put a lot of resources over there and and change our defense a little bit from what they've done in the past and, and just give our guys a fighting chance to stop people and be aggressive on defense and create some turnovers and really put us in some good positions. Moving forward, what sort of student athlete can we expect to uh, see come through the doors here at Central? Well, I think we're going to be looking for the complete student athlete. You know, we want the, the student first, obviously, someone that's going to come here and want to grow socially and someone who wants to be the best football player they can be. Now, during the press conference, you talked about trying to get the alumni involved, get fans going. What are some of the ways you're going to try to do that? Obviously, shaking hands and kissing babies. That's the most important thing. You know, get out and meet alums and, and you know, in, engage them in what we're doing in, in every facet. You know, come out to spring practice, come out to our games. We'll have a special game for alumni in the fall where they can come and, and just be recognized as alumni and enjoy some food and some and some drink uh, with their compadres and really start getting involved in Central Connecticut football again. Have you had a chance to meet with the team yet? I did. I met with them yesterday and a lot of bright eyes, a lot of guys that are really excited about what's going to happen here over the next few months. And I'm not sure if they were anxious or excited, but I'm sure a little bit of both. Now, one last question you talked about during the press conference as well, working with the Connecticut high school football coaches. I'm sure you have a relationship with them from your time at New Haven. How do you hope to continue that and build that throughout the future? Well, they're our lifeblood. You know, if, they, if they're not providing us with great players, then we're not going to be very successful. So we want to engage them just like we do our alums. We want them here on campus. We want them here for uh, camps, and we want them here for clinics and just engaging in our program and just to see what we have. You know, I think a lot of people, um, you know, the state games this year opened up some eyes as to Central's facilities and the things that we have um, to be successful. So I think that's obviously a great start, but we want them involved in what we're doing. We want them to be influential on their student athletes and, and not push them to come to, to Central, but push them to look at Central, to have it be a viable option when they have only FCS options. That's Pete Rosamondo, the 13th head coach in the history of Central Connecticut State football.